Hey everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team here with another video for the division. This is going to be the weekly vendor reset for February 10th, 2017. Let's start right here in the terminal. Uh, right here at the special equipment's vendor. All right, pretty decent Valkyria. Liberator is not bad at all, actually, pretty good. Historian 93R. So we are going to be going over every single bit of gear that's being sold by all the open world vendors. We're going to do a separate video for the Dark Zone vendors, so stay tuned for that. Super 90. This Scar H is pretty good. It's, I would say this is probably the, one of the guns to pick up here. RPK. Decent electronics mask. Shitty striker armor mask. Firecrest, not too good. There you go, Banshee Shadow, that's not bad. Good electronics operated vest. Pretty good uh, electronics on that backpack as well. Predator's Mark skill power. I'll probably be picking that up. I'm actually working on a new build for Predator's Mark. I just got the Showstopper. So I kind of want to exploit it with the Predator's Mark perks. So we'll see how that goes. Attack. Final measure. These reclaimer gloves aren't bad. These alpha bridge gloves aren't bad if you're looking for electronics. Really good stamina mod with skill power. 16. Longer arc sight. Gun range. Eh. The rest of those are eh. And then the caches, of course, are all the same. Kits, we got a first wave P45, not bad. Firearms, gloves, electronics, mask, flash hider, and a grip. That's it for all of the 256 gear. This is all the rest of the stuff that you can still get as blueprints. Like I said, I will be going over everything, so I try and try to make that apparent that we will be going over every bit of item sold, every item sold. I said that this last week, but the reason, the reason I make these videos is because I was looking for a vendor reset video that had everything and no one does. Everyone just kind of highlights what they think they that you should pick up or what they think is worthwhile. But you know what? I don't know what you think. I'm not here to presume that you want one thing more than another. So I'm just going to show you everything and let you make your own decisions. Only seems fair. Some of those, I mean, if you are only looking for high end items some of those other guys that put them out are pretty good i think i'm going to start doing just a high-end item video as well to see how that gets received and if it's good then i'll just start including that in the weekly too let me know in the comments if you hey, do want to see you. just the high-end items i think i've gotten a couple comments before where people have mentioned hey can you just do the high-end items which i can do but it will definitely have to be in addition to this video i definitely don't want to stop doing all of them but you can see that uh, the video is chopped up pretty good, so well, we go through everything pretty quick. It's only a, it's only an 11 minute video, so it's uh, pretty fast to go through everything. I mean, if we were just highlighting the the uh, high end stuff, I mean, the video would only be probably like four minutes, maybe five minutes, which is also good. But like I said, let me know in the comments if you want to see that video. That's a really good MP, maybe MP5. It'd be worth picking up. Scar H. Eh. Not really worth it. Pretty decent reload speed on that quick release mag. Don't Spider worry. From here. So that Navy MP5 was definitely probably the best thing so far. That Scar H wasn't a bad either. Let's see what we got here at Hudson Yards. Camp Hudson, rather. Camp Hudson, not Hudson Yards. Camp Hudson. SOCOM was eh. Not bad for that uh, purple scope. Let's see what Vander has. Pretty okay operator's mask. It's actually really good. Damage to elites as well. That might be worth picking up if you're looking for a stamina mask. 
disruptive resistance, secret mine radius, and signature ability resource gain. No problem. Right Six. over to Kerman Station. Anything here you want? QB19. Not bad for a purple for a legendary item. Is that Exocom? Yeah, a little light on the headshot damage. Pretty good USC. Nah, that magazine sucks. Alright, up to Dante's run. Uh, let's see. Spec Ops. Decent armor. Crappy electronics. Shitty roll. Okay. Turret damage, that's not bad. So if you're looking for our four, the max turret damage on a mod, head over to Dante's run. Now you're going to see these weapon numbers for damage. They will vary. I say this in every video again. They will vary because the damage output for each weapon is based on the amount of firearms you have. So the more firearms you have, the different numbers of damage you'll be seeing. So I'm running a really light firearms load right now. In fact, I have no mods to work towards firearms. Everything's for skill power for this build that I'm work that I have. So, as so long as you have over 28, 30 on your firearms, you're going to be doing more damage than all of these uh, numbers are giving you right now, which is most likely the, fact, the case. Ten to Autumn's Hope. There you go, thousand and one mask right there. Kind of light on the firearms, but you can also roll for that and skill power. That's not a bad, uh, not a bad mask. You're looking for firearms and skill power, which I am going to be actually. Uh, decent armor, electronics mod. To the cavern. Chess is a little light on armor, but not too bad. A little salmon capacity. That's not bad for a purple. And electronics and armor again. Also not bad. No worries. Come back another time. There. I'm sure I've got everything you need. Let's see what we got here. Same military scar H. FK. Say fifty-eight nineteen. Uh that's uh, a little too low for me. I've also tried the SA-58. It's a burst fire on assault rifle, and to be honest, it's not really worthwhile, I don't think. How is my new favorite customer? Assault, low armor tech pads with low firearms, not very good. Doesn't reach smart cover or damage resistance. I'm sure I'll Nothing see really again. there. Madison Sam. The last call has. Diddy, you're gonna like what you see. PP19 legendary. It's not bad actually. Another from Moss. Scar H. Lots of Scar H's this week. Purple and high end. 291 stagger. Meh. Not on range. Cinemag, but less than 100%. Hey, not really worth time. it, in my opinion. Get the wards gun. Attack mask. Ah, a little light on the armor on that Spec Ops chest piece. I would go, I would vote against it. 7.0 support station duration is pretty good. There is 7.5, but 7.0 is not bad. For that mod. Assault mask. Pads. Tack gloves. Decent armor. Crappy stamina. Not really worth it. 4.5 ballistic shield damage. Nah, nothing really here. Grand house. What do you got for me? Black market sag, sasg, twill. 
220, that's not a bad stagger. So if you're looking for a decent shotgun, it's probably pretty good. Actually, yeah, like I said, I just got the showstopper, so I'm looking for Predator's Mark stuff. You want it, I got it. Nothing really this week, to be honest. Just one piece, maybe I'll pick up a backpack. Uh, not, it's an okay operator's mask. You can get up to 1333 skill power, so that's the roll on that. It's kind of low. Sticky bomb, smart cover, damage, resistance. Not really too much here. Last but not least, the crypt. City. So, what looks good to you? Tactical UMP 45. See, so yeah, with 1.6 coming out again, I think I might start rocking another submachine gun. So I'm thinking about picking up one this week. This enhanced AUG is actually pretty good. 32% crit lit, 13.4k. Actually not bad. I'll probably end up going with the PP-19 though. Standard mag over 100%. Eh, everything else is okay. Critical good chances three though, that's not bad. All right guys, that's it for this week. We'll be doing another video for the Dark Zone vendors. I'll put that in the description here at the end. But until then, go ahead. Game on. Game on! Yeah, game on!